Welcome to Trumpet Challenge week 14. So we took a month off because there were a lot of people graduating, it was the end of school, finals, all that stuff. And now we're back. Welcome to summer 2018. This is the perfect time to pull out your horn after you've had a week or two off and get back into shape, get ahead of everyone else for auditions in the fall and be ready to take first chair. Uh, summertime was always one of my favorite times as a student and as an adult because I always felt like, hey, this is time where it's really uninterrupted and I can spend my time really focusing on the fundamentals that I didn't get to throughout the year, either during lessons or band or orchestra, quintet, all those things, you know? Uh, I remember marching season would come and it seemed like everything had to be marching, even though I was preparing for a solo for contest uh, or trying to, you know, just get better at some part of my playing. So now it's summertime, you can focus on whatever it is that you need to improve and do it at your own pace. Hopefully you do it at a quick pace because this is your chance to catch up and get ahead of others. And uh, this is a, a great opportunity for you to win a trumpet challenge, win one of our trophies, and possibly win the HT6 uh, prototype carbon fiber trumpet behind me here. If you don't know this already, uh, this is our grand prize uh, for the first series of trumpet challenges this year. So we'll be giving away that horn in July, which is only a month away. So we only have like five more uh, trumpet challenges for you to gain entries into winning that. We'll give it away by doing a random drawing and the drawing, uh, to get your name into the drawing, you have to win a challenge or uh, you have to complete one of the other uh, tasks that we've had throughout the year. Uh, we do have quite a few people into the, the drawing, but I know for a fact that it's maybe even under 100 people. It's not very many. So your chances of winning that trumpet are pretty high. All you have to do is participate and get in on the trumpet challenge right now. Uh, I'll tell you more about that horn next time. Uh, today we are going to get straight to the challenge, which is going to be played on this Courtois Evolution 2 trumpet. I just want to mention this horn for a minute because it's uh, not that well-known of a horn. It was made in Paris, France, and it features a double bell, which was kind of inspired by a Monat trumpet years ago. So there's bracing inside that holds this double bell. In my personal opinion, it really does nothing for the playability of this horn. So that's my personal opinion based on uh, testing that I've done and experiments. So I do not believe it really does anything positive or really that much negative. Uh, it just adds a little bit of efficiency in places I probably wouldn't want it. It does have a special lead pipe system. This lead pipe uh, is a little different than most lead pipes because you can unscrew a section and adjust the gap here. And it does uh, fit inside a second tube in the horn. Uh, again, it's nothing like the way I build horns, it's not as efficient, but it is interesting and it does have this cool sheep bracing. So I wanted to play the challenge on this horn today just because um, we have this horn on our website for sale and I wanted to let all of you know it's there and I imagine it's going to disappear soon so this will be one of the last times you see it. The cool thing is I did an extensive review on this horn a couple months ago and there is a spectrum analysis that goes with that review so you can see what it looks like. So this is this week's challenge, which is going to be elaborate. And elaborate means just, you know, tell us more, give us more information, make more of what I'm gonna give you. So this week I want you to elaborate on a nursery rhyme. Here's an example. <laughs> know this tune and uh, of course it was made famous by lyrics twinkle twinkle even though it was uh, composed before then so now I want you to find a nursery rhyme that you like and elaborate on it here we go I'm gonna elaborate on this one <laughs> now what I did was very short very simple I would hope you'd elaborate a lot more, 
you can do as much as you want. You can have as many people in your video playing any different instrument as you like. You could play all different instruments and overdub them. You can do video recordings of that. Uh, you can pretty much do anything you want. You can even play with uh, a backing track as long as you have permission. And you can have up to 5,000 people in your video. Whatever you like to do this week, there aren't very many rules. However, there will only be one prize this week. And that will be a 5mm modular mouthpiece. So if your name is on the entry and you win, then you will win this mouthpiece. Well, one of our 5mm kits. Um, if you have six trumpet players on your entry, then only one of you can win one of these. So I just want to clarify that part. The 5mm modular mouthpiece, if you don't know already, is really, really cool. It's cutting edge technology. We can take the rim off, the, the throat comes out, the cup comes off. You can change this from a shallow cup to a deep cup. You can make it more broad and open or tight and laser beam sounding. You can take the nut off the back. You can take the back bore out. All these things come apart so that it can fit you custom. So basically you can take all six components and build them as one custom mouthpiece for you. You can take it apart and build it as another mouthpiece. You can stay on the same rim and change the cup depth and the throat tightness and the back bore. And you can do that uh, you know, infinitely. So you will win one of these kits. It will include nine pieces, which is enough to build two complete configurations. And you can choose your size and shape of body in raw brass with a silver rim. All right, so this is what you will win. You will also win, claim to fame, you will win one of these trophies, which means you will get an entry into the carbon fiber trumpet drawing. So, I look forward to seeing all of your entries. There's one more catch. I will only judge the top five most popular videos. Meaning, your video has to be in the top five of all the entries in terms of popularity. So, you have to have a lot of likes. Uh, popularity is going to be judged by likes. So if you have 500 likes, and the next person or the next four people have less than that, then you're number one in terms of the ranking, and I'm gonna judge just the top five. So if you don't get in the top five, um, then work on sharing your video, work on getting more people to check it out and to like it, because we want everyone to see these videos, and we want it to be a lot of fun, and that's the last part of this. Really just have a lot of fun with it. Find a nursery rhyme and see what you can do with it. Maybe arrange it for brass quintet. Maybe do a jazz series. Uh, you could possibly even pull out the keyboard and some drums and make it a pop song. Whatever you like, anything goes on this one. Elaborate on a nursery rhyme. All right, good luck.